Lo Mr. Luis Lopez, the owner of Latin Moves Dance Studio in Stanford. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. You are sharing a dance party Friday with us. Yes, we are. So before we actually get into all of that, I want to talk about a really amazing event you're being part of. And actually, you're, you're the founder of this event. Yes. Tell us about it. Well, it's the sixth annual Connecticut Salsa Fest. Uh, it's been an amazing, amazing trip the last six years. We have grown tremendously. We usually double every year. Last year it grew tremendously, so this year we're not doubling, but we do have a lot of people attending. And so the idea is to bring people together from all walks of life, and it is a three-day just party of salsa. Is that what that is? So it starts today, Friday, and it goes all the way to Sunday, 3 o'clock in the morning. Doors open Friday, 7 o'clock, and they don't close till I 3 a.m. on that. Sunday. So when you talk about people from all different walks of life, I mean, let's talk about what the actual venue is like. I mean, the event, where is it being held? It's at the Stanford Hilton, first Stanford place in and Stanford, right off of 95. It's like right there. It's awesome. So, and you're going to be featuring different artists as well, is that correct? That's correct. We have Jesus Pagan and his orchestra, and we have Wayne Golbea and his orchestra. We also have the Lavo All-Star singing a tribute to Hector Lavo, the late Hector Lavo, which is his ex-musicians come in to just sing it up. So how long, how long have you actually been doing salsa? I've been dancing since I was about 17. Oh, so you're kind of good. I'm okay. <laughs> I've been teaching for about 13 years now. I've so, had my studio. Again, where do you teach? In Stanford? I teach at Lat Moves Dance Studios in Stanford. It's 19 West Main Street. And I've been there, like I said, 13 years. And we have a great program there. We have kids that range from 5 to 17. And we have adults all the way up to 70 years old. And is it, what type of salsa is it? Because there are different types, right? There's a lot of different styles. We focus on what we call as an onto New York style because we're so close to New York City. Um, and it's just amazing. I call the music of salsa, the dance to unite the nations because it's just so diversified and we have, I mean salsa is in practically every country right now. There's a festival or congress or something going on and we have our very own right here in Connecticut. That is awesome and you're responsible for bringing it to Connecticut so we certainly appreciate that. Yes, yes. So let's talk about some of the other dances you teach at your studio. I know you really specialize in salsa but if someone calls up and says I want to learn some moves, what else do you teach? Well we, we tend to let everybody know that we're not a ballroom studio even though we encourage ballroom but we mainly focus on having fun nightclub style dancing, bachata, merengue, cha-cha, a little bit of cumbia, and mostly salsa, of course, because that's our passion. All, All right. right. I love that. And you're going to demonstrate for us today. I know you're joined by your beautiful wife. Will you just quickly introduce us to your team that you brought sure. with you today? Sure. start from the right. We have, of course, Jesus Pagan. He's going to be there Saturday night with his band. They are fantastic. They have their CD out, Salsa de la Mata. That's right. Also, we have beautiful Victoria joining us. Dr. <laughs> Michael Clark, amazing, amazing man. And, my, of course, my beautiful wife, Sibylla. And, and yourself, and your hands And Lou Lopez. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to step out of here. I'm going to let you all take it away. Have some fun. Thank you so very much for being here. We appreciate it and wish you the best of luck. And I do want to mention for folks, a part of the proceeds on one of your days will go to benefit the St. Jude's Research Hospital, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. On Sunday, May 30th, we have a special reception from 6 to 8 o'clock, and then we have the party until 3 o'clock in the morning where all, all the proceeds actually from the silent auction and that reception is going to St. Jude's Cancer Research Hospital. And, of course, one of the reasons we picked them was because they do not turn anybody away not only in the states but all over the world if you need to be treated they take care of they're it. amazing way to pay it back yes, take it away it back. thank you all thank so you. very much and a big thank you to all of our guests today make it a great one it's a dance party friday show us how it's done okay here we go